नमस्कार दिस विल बी द सीरीज ऑफ हंड्रेड एंड एट ओवी फर्स्ट ओवी फ्रॉम द ज्ञानेश्वरी इज ओम नमो जी आद्या वेद प्रतिपाद्या जय जय स्वसम वेद्य आत्मरूपा दिस इज द कलेक्शन ऑफ हंड्रेड एंड एट ओवी फ्रॉम ज्ञानेश्वरी विच इज कलेक्टेड बाय माय सद्गुरु सद्गुरु माय सद्गुरु वॉज स्वामी माधवनाथ एंड हिज सद्गुरु स्वामी स्वरूपानंद सो लेट अस सी ओम नमो जी आद्य ओम मीन्स अकारुत ब्रह्मा उकारुत विष्णु मकार महेश्वर टू बॉर्न टू लिव एंड टू टाय एंड स्टील गॉड इज देअर बिफोर अस व्हेन वी आर देअर एंड व्हेन वी आर बॉर्न दॅट ओंकार सुरू दॅट स्टार्ट ऑफ एव्हरीथिंग एंड एंड ऑफ एव्हरीथिंग स्टील दॅट थिंग इज देअर दॅट इज परमात्मा ज्ञानेश्वर महाराज इज ऑफरिंग प्रेयर्स टू दॅट परमात्मा विच इज एव्हरीवेअर which is infinite which is zero which is empty beyond infinite beyond zero beyond emptiness beyond everything so he is offering his prayer to that omkar suru infinite god om namo ji adya om namo namo means offering prayers adya means which is at the start at end and it which is everywhere veda pratipadya it means pratipadya means to explain to offer prayers ved 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 in the vedas all the explanation of this god is there panchamahabhuta and beyond panchamahabhuta solid state of god liquid state of god and all this in beyond all these things the god is always there god is generator organizer destroyer generates everything organizes everything and destroy everything it means at the end of the day nothing comes into being and nothing goes anywhere it is here everywhere and that here everywhere that is parmatma eko ham mursa it is only one thing but it is seen in this thing that thing in everything it is infinite god anant kudi brahmana so i am offering my prayers to him because of his energy only i can see i can feel i can express and explain everything and how is that god jai jai means help god that is what swa samvedya swa means that god can explain himself only that god knows himself only no one else knows about him and no one can tell about him it is infinite even vedas could not explain vedanta could not explain but when <coughs> those rishis and munis got themselves immersed themselves into that god they become one with that god and then they opened their eyes they started dancing ah who how and all those things we saw that one so then they have, they went on to explain all the upanishadat how it is how the advait god is there advait means only one thing exists omniscient god omnipotent god which is everywhere and everything is made up of that only it is filled everywhere and nothing else exists anywhere only god exists everywhere so i am offering my prayers to that god naneshwar maharaj is saying jajas vasam veda he can explain himself he knows himself and he is the only thing everywhere atmarupa he has become one with the god that god has become one with him so when then is uh, he can explain himself about everything so nirutinath was sitting adjacent to him he offered prayers to sadguru as well and he said please let me allow to explain all these things so that did this world moves on the path of vedanta moves on the path of bhakti marga the devotion vibhakta nasai tris bhakta marga they cannot be separated from god they have become tasmat yogi bhajan they have become yogi 24 hours i mean full day whole day throughout their life they live the parmarthik life they devote themselves to the god they follow all the humanitarian ethics values and they live such a pious and beautiful life that everybody feels this is the life we should live so let us try to live that kind of life which has been predicted explained in nanishwari thank you very much